hello, hello. So, as part of the ongoing series here, um, we got this little folio here to make. It's a little book. And this is just a little notebook you can throw in your purse. And we're using that same kind of fold over latch on this. Only on this one, we've added a pen. Okay? So we have our little notebook and a pen. And on the back, we have this little pocket right here. So you can tuck in some papers and things. And again, you just wrap the uh, ribbon around and just go right around the little brad we put in the middle, okay? So I'm going to show you how to do this one. This is a quick one. It's a, just a few minutes. And so we're going to turn these into one of these, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and get out the supply list. Same, pretty much the same normal stuff and uh, give you some measurements and we'll get this one started. Just a few minutes. Okay, so all your standard stuff, guys. You know, corner rounders, hole punchers, rulers, bone folders, scoring tools, some scissors, adhesives. Probably going to want some Fabri-Tac 3 or 1 or whatever uh, fabric glue you use. Uh, some regular adhesive, hole punch, you know, a, a circle punch, some ribbon, of course, a cutter, a scoreboard, and we're going to want uh, some cardstock. And this is a great project for using up, you know, like that pad that you have that has like five sheets left in it. Uh, great project for that. So let's get started with some cuts of paper. Now you can use a regular eight and a half by 11 on this if you want to. I just find that the 12 by 12 is thicker, if that makes any sense. So um, just a few pieces on this one, guys. Uh, you're going to need one piece that is uh, four and a quarter by seven and three quarters. And then one piece here that is four and a quarter by six and a half. And then we have some little teeny pieces. And these are uh, two by two in the black, a one and three quarter by one and three quarter in the green, which is our base color. And then we're going to be cutting a mat for this that's one and a half by one and a half, okay? So let's get the scoreboard. Let's get started uh, with the scoring. And let's get this little thing put together. So our first score is going to be at uh, half inch. And then we're going to turn it around. And we're going to do a half inch on the other side. That's it. Now on the smaller piece, we're going to be scoring at three inches. And then we're going to go one, two, three. So three and three eighths. One, two, three, which is three and three quarters. And then all the way out here to five and a half. Okay. So three, three and three eighths, three and three quarters, five and a half. And that is on your four and a quarter by six and a half inch piece. And that is all of our scoring on this one, guys. I'm telling you, this one's easy. All right, let's fold up some sides. Fold and burnish. Fold and burnish. Fold and burnish. Fold and burnish. Okay. And then we're just going to fold and burnish these two here. All right, so this is the piece that's going to go on to the little book. So we're just going to go ahead and open this up and get one of these little books out. These are not very thick little books, you know, but they are sewn in pages and they're nice little notebooks. It's perfect size for your pocket. So on this one, all we're going to do is we're going to use some regular glue. We're just going to come in here and put some glue. Okay. I'm going to put some glue on the inside of our little half inch flap on both sides. And then we're just going to line it our book up, close our flap, 
the other way. Close that one. We're going to close the whole book. This is going to help us get it right where we need it to be. Now these are rounded corners and you can round these, but it doesn't really matter because you're going to cover it anyway. Okay. <coughs> All right. So we're going to take this and set it aside and let it dry. We're going to take our attention to this piece right here. So with the three inch score on our left and that little short three quarter inch score on our right, um, we're going to glue this down. Now here's, you have a choice here. You can either glue it on the ends and make this like a little tuck spot or you can glue the whole thing down. And on this one, I'm just going to go ahead and glue the whole thing down. And now I'm going to take this one and the middle score, I'm just going to fold it backwards and I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut about an inch down to the score line and then about half an inch below that to the score line. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some double sided tape on this and I'm going to put a strip of double sided tape on the side closest to the three inch piece, top and bottom of that line that I just cut, that little space I cut. I don't want to do the space, just the top and bottom of it, okay? So once I have that on there, I'm going to go ahead and pull those off. And then I'm going to fold this, but I'm going to push that little piece I just cut forward, and I'm just going to fold this back. and press it down. And when I open this, I'm going to have this little pocket right here that my pen goes into. Okay. Right there, just a little pocket. So now this piece becomes my pocket on the back of the book, this piece right here. So let's go ahead and talk about the mats that are going to go on here. And for the mats on this, we're going to want one that is four and a quarter by two and three quarters. Okay. And then for the front of the book itself, because the front mat is actually going to go on the book front, that piece is three inches by four and a quarter. So we're going to cut those right now. Let me get this glue closed up. All right. So one for the back, one for the front. So let's pick some paper. Okay. We'll start with these. All right, so on the front of my book, I think I'm gonna use this for the pocket on the back. So my back pocket is four and a quarter by two and three quarters. So let's go two and three quarters. And I'm doing that because I have writing that goes this, this direction by uh, four and a quarter. And then I'm going to be covering the front of it, which is going to be four and a quarter by three. So let's see. I kind of like this, so I'm going to go here. Three. And then four and a quarter. So that's going to take most of my writing off. So I'm going to go ahead and come down here. And then I'll turn this around because I want to keep some of the writing and I want to keep the flowers too. So there, so that barely takes off on either end. So we still have a little bit of each. Okay. Don't get rid of these because we're going to use them. So let's start our first one. And that's going to be this one on the back here. And you see how that lines up. Now you can ink this if you want to. Um, I normally wouldn't because I'm using colored background.
but I don't want the white line either. So let me get out my memento here. So I'm just going to do like some very light inking on this simply because I don't want to deal with the whiteness. Okay. So now that I have that all covered, stay, sit, sit, Ubu. Okay. So I'm going to take some of my regular glue and I am going to put some glue on here. And then I'm going to center this on this piece. And it is a quarter of an inch. Uh, I cut the measurements down from the outside by a quarter of an inch. So I have an eighth of an inch. It goes all the way around. And then right here, because this is my pocket piece, I'm just going to go ahead and nip out a piece. Woo! And while I still have my inker out, I will just ink around that little bit there. Okay. So now that is our pocket and it is all inked. And then I'm going to go ahead and ink this one, which is the one that's going to go on the front. And again, I'm just doing it because I don't want to have that white, harsh white line. So I'm going to put a harsh black line on it. And then this piece is going to get put on the front outside cover of our book. So with the opening to the right, we're going to put some glue on the back of this. Now I'm not rounding any corners because I didn't round any corners on the cover itself. I'm going to position this on here. And I'm going to line up to this edge over here. There we go. Press that down. And now in order to attach this to my book, uh, I'm going to simply put some glue down the two sides of my pocket. I don't need to put them across the bottom because that's already closed. So just on the two sides. And then I'm going to take this pocket and I'm just going to attach it on the back here. So that gives me that little pocket right there. Okay. And then up here on the front, I am going to be building a medallion. Okay. So that gives me that little pocket right there. Okay. And then up here on the front, I am going to be building a medallion. Okay. Pretty much the same way that I've been doing it uh, on most of my other projects. Uh, I will take a piece of the cardstock. These are all one quarter of an inch smaller than the one below. And I'm going to build this up into basically three pieces. And now we use the flower, uh, flower material. So we're going to use the flower up here as well. And this piece needs to be one and a half by one and a half. So let me get my cutter real quick. We'll do this one at one and a half by one and a half. We'll just test it. Looks good. So we'll go ahead and glue this on.
and we're going to give this just a few seconds to dry because it's going to get attached right here. And I'm not really worried about putting a finishing piece on the back of this because our brad is going to be in the back here. So we're going to go ahead and get our hole punch. We're going to come in. We're going to punch a hole. Oh, right about the middle. And then we're going to put a brad through. Now, I could put a fancy brad on this, but I'll be honest with you. Just kind of your basic brad works here. Uh, let's see. I've got this one. It's got a nice green color. So I think we'll use that one. So we're just going to take that brad, we're going to put it through, and we do want some space here. So again, we're going to be using a piece of just scrap cardstock folded in half to kind of give us that little space. And all we need to do is just kind of put a slice in it and just put it around our brad. Come in. Come on, little bread. Oh, it helps if these are together. There we go. Put it in there. Use it to hold your bread. Put your bread through the hole. Okay. I'm going to put these down. I'm going to take this piece out. And that's going to see, it just gives it a little bit of looseness. All right. And that is going to go over the back. We're going to get a piece of ribbon. And again, we want our ribbon to go around our book and have a little bit extra. Fabri-Tac. So we are dealing with ribbon. Seal that in with the other piece of paper. We're going to press this down. And then we're going to put some glue on the back here. mount this up just going to hold it down for a second let it dry a little bit now for the pens on these i use these little pens and um these are left over from valentine's day like two years ago um but they work you know and you can get uh just plain colored ones at most dollar tree stores um uh, what I like to do is go under the brad and around, and that just holds it in place. So that's it. Pretty easy. If you wanted to, you could add a journaling card to the back here. Um, if not, you can just leave it the way that it is and just let somebody put something in there, you know, notes or whatever. But there it is. You could add a little more decoration to this if you want to. But I just like this one to be as simple as possible. There's the original. Real simple. Of course, all of the instructions, you know, the measurements and everything will be in the description box below. And I want to thank you so much for hanging out with me for this time. Until I see you again, uh, if you haven't done so, go ahead and hit that red button and subscribe for me. Like me, ring my bell, and share me with all your friends because I'm making these little notebooks. Bye bye